Hello, my name is Sabrina Sanchez and the topic of my video presentation is cultural differences in child rearing. Child rearing in different cultures can be as varied as the countries from which they come from. Although their methods vary from one culture to another, their goal is quite similar amongst all, to mold their child into the most effective adult they can be. Different cultural factors influence individual behavior. Some cultures prefer to raise their child using an individualistic approach, while others opt for a collectivistic method. An individualistic culture emphasizes on the individual itself. It is a society where independence is highly valued and being dependent is seen as shameful or embarrassing, whereas a collectivistic culture emphasizes on the group as a whole. The relationships and interconnectedness between people is stressed over individual desires. Upon research, I found that the United States is noted to be the most highly rated individualistic culture in the world, following closely behind are Australia, Great Britain, and Canada. On the other hand, East Asian countries such as Japan and South Korea are more collectivistic. Specific child rearing characteristics from different countries include a tradition in Greece where you spit on a baby to ward off an evil spirit or bad luck. In Mauritania, Africa, they also spit on newborn babies because they believe it has blessings that stick. Whereas in the United States, they would find that highly offensive and one might even go to jail for doing so. In Vietnam, parents have a system of potty training their child by using a whistle. This allows a child to be fully potty trained by the age of nine months. Most infants raised in Western cultures are not potty trained until 24 to 30 months. In Sweden, parents are quite egalitarian, which means that the child and parents have equal rights within the family. Children are prompted to openly express their opinions and be a part of family decisions. Parent-child communication can vary amongst cultures. In America, it is seen as inappropriate to lie to another. They are taught from young that it is not okay to lie and carry the chance of being punished if they are caught. In China, however, children are taught to lie in order to spare others' feelings. This shows that communication methods that are seen as wrong in one culture are encouraged in another. Just as communication varies amongst cultures, so does affection. Parents across the world view affection in different ways. Western parents are much more physically affectionate with their children. Hugging, kissing, and complimenting are all forms in which they show their affection. In the Eastern world, they show their kids affection by being strict with them. They believe that's what's best for the child by steering them in the right direction. In Japan, parents grant their kids far more independence than parents in the United States. Japanese children are seen as young as four years old, riding subways alone and running errands wandering around town. Children in the United States don't usually start even staying home alone until the age of 10 years old. At the end of the day, know which way is better than another. It just all depends on what part of the world that said child is being raised in.